National income accounting involves measuring a country's economic performance through indicators like gross domestic product, GDP, gross national product, GNP, and net national product, NNP. These measures provide a quantitative basis for assessing the economic activity and health of a nation. Component 1, Gross Domestic Product, GDP, is the total monetary or market value of all the finished goods and services produced within a country's borders in a specific time period. It functions as a comprehensive scorecard of a country's economic health. There are three primary ways of calculating GDP. Production or output or value added approach. This calculates the value of output minus the value of intermediate consumption, which results in value added, and estimates of GDP are obtained by summing the value added over all producers. Income approach. This sums the incomes generated by production. For example, compensation of employees, taxes less subsidies on production and imports, and gross operating surplus or profits. Expenditure approach. This adds up the value of purchases made by final users. For instance, the consumption of goods and services by private households, government spending, investments in machinery and buildings, and net exports, exports minus imports. GDP can be adjusted for inflation, real GDP, and population, GDP per capita, to provide deeper insights into economic performance. Additionally, GDP can be measured on a nominal basis or a PPP, purchasing power parity basis, which accounts for differences in local prices and cost of living. Component 2, Gross National Product, GNP, is an economic statistic that encompasses the total economic output of a country's residents, including income earned by residents from overseas investments, minus income earned within the domestic economy by entities that are not residents of that country. To break it down further, total economic output, this includes the value of all goods and services produced over a specific time period. Residents. This term refers to the citizens and businesses based in the country, regardless of where they produce goods and services. Overseas investments. When residents invest in businesses or assets outside of the country, the income from these investments counts towards the GNP. Income earned by non-residents. Conversely, if foreign entities earn income within the country's borders, this is subtracted from the GNP since it's not earned by the residents. Income earned by non-residents. Conversely, if foreign entities earn income within the country's borders, this is subtracted from the GNP since it's not earned by the residents. GNP is different from gross domestic product, GDP, which accounts for the total economic output produced within a country's borders, regardless of who produces it. GNP can provide insight into the overall economic health of a nation's residents and can be particularly informative for countries with significant investment income from abroad. Component 3, Net National Product, NNP, is a key economic indicator that represents the total value of goods and services produced by the citizens of a country during a specific period, usually one year minus depreciation. It's a concept used in national income accounting, a branch of macroeconomics that deals with the total economic activity and output of a nation. Here's how it works. NNP is derived from the gross national product, GNP, by subtracting depreciation. GNP measures the market value of all the products and services produced in one year by labor and property supplied by the residents of a country. Depreciation, also called capital consumption allowance, accounts for the wear and tear on the capital stock that occurs during the production process. This includes physical deterioration, obsolescence, and accidental damage. NP can be expressed at market prices or as factor cost. At market prices, it includes taxes and excludes subsidies. At factor cost, it excludes taxes and includes subsidies. NNP is an important measure because it indicates the nation's capacity to produce goods and services in the future. It's an indication of the economic well-being of a country, reflecting not only the current level of production, but also the production capacity for the future. A high NNP suggests that a country is well-positioned to maintain or increase its level of economic output whereas a lower NNP relative to GNP might suggest that a significant portion of the nation's income is being consumed by depreciation and future production might decline unless investments are made to replace or upgrade the depreciating assets. Things to come in Topic 1. You will be challenged to do some research about the United States in the upcoming discussion posting and group projects. You will get out of this course what you put into it. Do not be content to hide out. Be proactive in reaching out to your compatriots. I cannot stress enough the importance of actively participating in the discussion and group project assignments.
Research shows that you are likely to learn 5% of the lecture material. You will learn 75% of what you teach. In short, it is time to rock. Serve the Lord with gladness and enter his courts with praise.